Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are starting up a playthrough here in Tolwar Faro again, now with the new High Tide update. So I thought we were going with the one of the added Sea People's faction, Eolaeus, Blade of the Sherden. So, we're doing Legendary Difficulty, we are going to do this, uh, this is Tolwar style as well, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I haven't played Tolwar Faro for... Um, uh, like one month, two months, one and a half month, I think. Uh, something like that. So just going in completely blind on this specific campaign. And it's a short campaign. I'm planning to do uh, three episodes for a starters. And then we'll see how it goes. It, it, the continuation depends on three things. Uh, one, if I'm even able to survive. Number two, my enjoyment of the game. And number three, your support, of course. So if you do want to see more of this series or, and enjoy this video, leave that like, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know, guys. And if you haven't done it, subscribe as well. Always greatly appreciated. So with that out of the way, let's have a look on Eolaeus. We have the local deities Isul. Isul shines inside your people, lighting up the night with song and lighting up the day with reckless joyful powers. So we have some native units, um, Ishuan and um, Anatolian swordsmen and all that stuff. Let, but let's look at the faction specific units a bit. We have the Sheridan looters. We have the Sheridan recruits. Uh, we have the Sheridan javelin men. Sheridan Swordsman, Sheridan Warband, Sheridan Bowman, and then we get on to Sheridan Ambushers, Sheridan Axemen, and then we get seasoned Nuraji Harpooners, um, Nuraji Axe Wielders, Nuraji Warriors, and Battle Hardened Nuraji Warriors. Faction Buildings then, War Weavers, Rating Income plus 8%, Influence plus 8, um, at the cost of Happiness and Workforce Growth. We also have Colonist District, for influence, production, all resources, and labor growth, and even workforce growth for adjacent provinces at the cost of workforce growth for the province we're in. And Harpoon Combat Grounds plus A2 influence and food and uh, access to the Harpooners, I think. Harpoon Fishing Port, upkeep minus 2%, that's good, and um, or at least uh, um, decent. Food, 50% for fisheries on the Nile, ports and all that stuff in the region, and uh, food income plus 140, workforce growth plus 4 here as well. Uh, so nice, let's catch the horizon. Hati is a land of misery and misfortune, torn asunder by endless strife and conflict. However, the Hittites' woes will soon multiply as a new threat descends upon them from the sea. Euleus, war chief of the Shagan, leads his war bands on a path of death and destruction, throwing ever closer to the shores of Anatolia. The Shagan are no strangers in these lands, yet Euleus is unlike any before him, a madman who claims to be a brother of the heathen sun god, Isu. Blasphemy. He would set the world ablaze for glory. His and his brothers. Those who stand in his way will be left among the ashes. Or perhaps they shall raise the earth beside him. Euleus is a bloodthirsty zealot, but he's no fool. Calculating and cunning, he knows his ambitions will earn him countless foes. So he chooses his targets carefully and picks them off one by one. Shopiluma, Hattis' great king, will not stand by and let the lands he seeks to unite crumble into fire and ruin at the hand of Euleus. Destiny binds them both in battle. Euleus will also find a fierce enemy in Kurunta, for the Stag Lord also claims divine purpose, proclaiming himself an incarnation of his god. 
Eulaeus will seek to raise his stone towers in Anatolia, where he has numerous cities to torch and plunder. Should he succeed, he will be in position to challenge the great king himself. Or perhaps he will turn his fiery gaze toward Egypt, seeking his glory amidst our shining wonders. Well, here we go. So let's um, have a look on the faction summary. I got to say, I think it's uh, really cool that you can take charge of one of the Sea People factions. And uh, we can basically be the, the tip of the sword of the Bronze Age Collapse itself. So, and uh, yeah, one interesting uh, thing here with the with the Sheridan, um, with Eulace and the Sheridan, is the hybrid gameplay. So we can actually choose if we want to be a horde um, or settle down or if we want to combine those two things together and uh, so that's really cool uh, let's uh, we can have a look on that as well we already had a look on um, the faction units but overall disciplined and aggressive units and access to powerful uh, key loan formation that's pretty cool but we don't have any chariots so we, we are very prone to go uh, all infantry which well, which could provide some challenges when if we are go to go it really doesn't matter if we go to Anatolia or Egypt we are going to bump into trouble or challenges with the factions that have uh, chariots oh, shit never mind let's proceed commands um, make use of sweltering weather and cause more destruction improved benefits from wars points and for the court Powerful retaliation to the failed plots and more expensive court action, though. Um, key concept uh, we have the outpost. We have Asiolais. You start with no settlements and no outpost, but you can capture foreign outpost sites and construct a Nuraji Tower. The Nuraji Tower have two tiers and their effect vary based on who owns the respective region. They are heavily fortified, can hold a garrison, and have a unique battle map. Their effects are weakest in foreign regions. You can use your outpost there to destabilize the regions. In regions you own, you use the Nuraji Towers to protect and control them. And uh, yeah, their effects are strongest when the region is raised. Use them to keep control of the area and not let anyone take it from you. Uh, very well. Uh, so yeah, we can visit them, get a couple of uh, bonuses to our army and stuff like that. Worship, we have Isul as you lay, so you can construct idols for the three shirt and gods in your horde army. So, this is another um, addition into uh, the game with this update. Uh, terrain and weather unique to our faction. Anatolian lands are more often beset by fog and storms. Units in these lands tend to wear heavier armor to both protect them from weather and to fight harder in melee. Uh, melee combat which they can reach easily under the blanket of fog your roster consists of light and medium units that can maneuver better than their enemies in difficult terrain but your missile units can be negatively affected of course should you fight in the fog yeah um, equipment we start with some medium armor sure uh, forge your own path with his in Incandescent temper, Eolaeus is more suitable for the path of the Marauders. Use it to emphasize your desire to destruction and provide powerful benefits to your hordes and tribal outposts, raise settlements and develop your Nuraji towers, and use the path to strengthen your armies in their lust for destruction. Royal Traditions As Eolaeus, you begin in the Hati lowlands and own new regions. Obviously, you can conquer sacred Hati land in Hati if you wish to make use of one of their royal traditions but forge your own path is more suitable for you titles as you lays uh, your titles allows you to bolster your strength of your generals horde and settled units they allow you to focus on specific types of units and allow you to both empower your ar own armies and hinder the enemies you can use the follower of isul title to terrorize any region in which you are present uh, native units uh, Sure, uh, we start in Anatolian lowland, so Anatolian native units. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Let's uh, begin. As I said, very cool to be the tip Happy of the sword. People. And we can zoom out so you see more specifically. We start up here towards Anatolia. 
We do have the choice, of course, to go if we would like to go um, south to Egypt. My brother, but we will see where where it takes us, basically. But firstly, let's uh, do this first fight. Let's have a look on uh, the units and uh, do it. We have a thunderstorm uh, forecast, but it actually does not matter, I think, because uh, this battle will be relatively short. So, uh, it's uh, actually pretty decent formation. If I remember correctly, they have yeah, two slingers, some militia. They have uh, the general, of course, and Luvian spearmen over there. So have you boys. Ulaeus himself, you can stand over here. Yep, show sure, you here as well. And you guys, like this. Start the battle and we shall... But you can move slow. We will start running once we get at the edge of the slingers. So here we had uh, the Sheridan looters. So this is our cavalry, basically. Here we have the Sheridan swordsmen. Will basically be our the bread and butter. Our main line here early on. And here we have uh, the Sheridan Axemen. Can do some decent damage. And here we have Eolaeus himself. He's very, very blonde, isn't he? And here we have uh, the Nuraje Warriors. I think they look cool. They do look cool. And let's have a look on... The, there's more of the swordsmen. And here we have our seasoned Nuraje Harpooners. Very good harpoon unit. Or javelin unit, basically. But they are also a bit capable in melee as well. So basically just looking to have fun... But I gotta say, I still uh, miss the blood. Now, shall start to run. Start to run. We can't outshoot the mid-range, so we'll just have to take it moving in. No one stand in my way. Now we shall probably. Oh no, we want to do it like that. You go like that. You can challenge the hero directly. And you shall start rinsing and repeating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're clashing. Get rid of that skirmish mode though. Go, go, go. That's fine. I think we're actually going to start shooting on the hurdlers first, yeah. Ish one slingers. Confident shaking already. Shoot them. Who will face me? Want to take as few casualties as possible. Broken. Move forward. Good stuff. He's broken as well. And start shooting on them. They will probably come back, but that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Yep, yeah, charge. Broken. Rinse and repeat. You can actually continue to chase them down. 
Oh, he's shaking. Oh, whoa, whoa. Go, 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 go. March onwards. On our way. I'm the swiftest blade in all of Hattie. Oh, fighting words. Seems like you're stuck a bit. Stop marching. Oh, well. Shoot them, shoot them. You can chase them down, get some that experience. No one stops me. I will use Don't kill the hero, though. Net. Say that again with my blade in your chest. Spears launch. He's wavering. I do wonder. Start marching. Burning for battle. It's not. Yielding. Yeah, just charge in. Couldn't really rinse or repeat with them. That was actually. March onwards. Pull them out. Yeah, there's his. He's broken. And that's the victory. Let's fast forward a bit. Let's uh, let them chase, chase them down. Get a bit more experience, you know. Don't let him uh, go away, though. So, first fight. Very easy fight. You just need to close that gap with these slingers. But then we outnumber them uh, quite severely. So, we have a pretty easy first, but as it should be. Uh, the first fights. Some of them are actually trickier than others, but uh, this is very easy. So 115 men. Um, well, one thing I'm displeased is the, that we couldn't uh, rinse and repeat with the charges of the shirt and looters as they turned around. I didn't expect that. Uh, got some gold, bronze, food. Good start. Good start. So here we can take them on, get some uh, labor growth, we get some units replenishment, which is probably what we want to do in this case, but we can steal war equipment as well, uh, get some powerful buffs for a few turns, or we can uh, let them live and get the food. But uh, in this first case, we need to be we need to be in really good shape. So let's take them on. And we're going to do one more what fight more can I do? pretty more directly because we can move in towards Adana. Excitement ahead. Excitement ahead. Yes, I agree. I Burn agree. Yes, let's move in. All right. So this uh, for this first fight, we're hanging back with the Shirt and Lutus over here. This is um, let's see if we can replicate this uh, tactic that I've been doing in the past uh, because it has been working well. They always put one to guard it, but uh, don't worry, he's going to come in late. And we go for this hole here, so or this hole, this side. So Ishwan Militia, they have Ishwan Slingers, two of them, and they're also guarding with the Spearmen over here. Uh, they're hanging back with their hero and binding up with one unit over there. That's actually makes um, a damn, get damn, damned good difference. So let's start moving forward. We'll actually move in with our hero as well. And you two boys is actually going to start moving towards this side. But this is the side where we look to penetrate their defense as quickly as possible. And the way to do it is the hero and the harpooners in this case. Here we go. So we're going to take some damage. We want to. Uh, we would like to spread out a bit more. 
go to the side to which you as well. You as well. Uh, that's fine as well. Go, go, go. No one stops me. So distracting them a bit, send in our hero and the swords. The spears will just uh, basically tag along for now. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. For the Not losing too much. No movement from the hero. Fight for glory. Already decimated them a fair bit. And go, Tango. charge in. And you can actually switch target. Can I even move back a bit? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And they're moving back, but that we do not want. Try to move in. Go, 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 go. The hero over here. See, could we just push it through? It's issue one militia. No, 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 no. Go in, take them down. That will sting. Start marching. March onward. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Burning for battle. Go forward. Reach shot. On our way. Spears launch. Warrior march. Raider, champion, victor. Yep, P perfect. Right perfect. Swordsman. Or maybe perfect. Here I am. Move forward. Both of you move forward. No one standing by way. You Swordsman. go back, go back, go back, go back. I know we're under risk of Start marching. We could get them Please over there, that's them. better. Okay, They're let's move. Already. Let's move. We're invincible. Fire and blood. Move for. Shoot in. We get the better out of them that way. So now we have one Luvian spearman still here. No, and they have abandoned their position. So now it's time to move. Time to move. Yeah, shaking both of them. We need both units over here. Try to not shoot at will right now. Don't know what you're shooting at. You're wasting a lot of your ammo on one single unit. That's insanely bad. and stay over here. How are we? They might come back, but not sure. Not a sure thing. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Started the move a tiny bit late with him. So he will arrive later than I would have expect, would have, um, would have wanted. Yes, start harassing him. Start harassing him. Seize the area. Counter charge right now. You will just sort of screen them. Uh, they're turning back. That's fine. He's already wavering, so that's fine. Now go, 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 go. Warriors of the tide. 
we should choose to go for our spearmen. Okay, you're running a bit late. Ready, so we actually go around here with them. But we can use them as a flanking force here instead. And wait while they do it. Okay, go. You stay on them. Squeeze them through. Go, 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 go. How are we with casualties? Not too bad, not too bad. Ah, Jesus. No one stops me. Strike hard. Move forward. Okay, they are coming back. That's the spot. Our destination awaits. Go, 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 go. Warrior bird. Stay out of reach. Okay, that was the last one, so let's uh, rear charge him. Yeah, run for him. Run for him. Swordsman. Ah, uh, he's actually dropping quite a bit. Fight for glory. That's no Free good. We will have Spearman. these guys ready. And he will bring in a charge now. He's still fresh, even though he has uh, moved fairly quick. Good, look at that. He's already shaken. Might rinse and repeat one more time. No, he's going down. Keep going down, keep going down. Go in, secure this. Good stuff. Go for the slingers. You turn back. And he is broken, shattered, and I think... I think that's it. Nice stuff. End the battle. Decisive. Nice stuff. 112 losses. I would argue with the first two fights you could get below 100 casualties in both of them. Um, maybe 100 casualties um, in total. Who knows? If you just time these move per moves perfectly. I did not do it perfectly, but it's uh, good enough. We have got a good start. And uh, we are going to play the raising game. And there's one big reason for it. I actually don't feel like defending settlements in this campaign. I just want to raise things to the ground. Well, let's do it. Food stores can rank. Okay. So we are what obviously on a food deficit. I'm not worried about this. We're going to keep fighting um, My brother, a lot. Beckons me to him. He ranked up, so what we want to go for here is a presence to lower that upkeep, though, to keep uh, start working on it. Labor growth, of course, that's the only thing we can go for, and labor growth is good because we are going to build a couple of stuff uh, fairly early on. We got uh, the scout, line of sight, plus 35%, not too bad. We have the common medium armor, we have the common large shield, we have the long sword. All decent stuff here as well, and Elias Scout also line of sight plus 50% and resources from racing plus 10%. So that's considering what we just did, that's good. We have the royal. Where should we begin? Uh, do you want to have a look on the victory objectives? Uh, that it looks basically the same. Pick points that depending uh, on what we do. So Rampage Hattie Land, for example, uh, there's 35 of them. So chaos in Egypt, 68 um, available settlements there. Invasion, fortified settlements, yeah. So for the ultimate victory, we need 140. So that's basically um, doing the whole map. We could, so doing uh, only Hathi land won't take us even to a minor victory if I interpret this correctly. Uh, but we do have some landmarks and all that stuff as well, so... Yep. For Royal Decrees, uh, this is a bit different from the other factions. As we are a hybrid faction, we get uh, a bit a bit of hand-holding here. If you want to focus on hybrid, uh, this these are the ones to go for. 
if we want to focus on Horde, the right side is to go for, and if we want to focus on the Seld course, um, a settled course, the, this side is to go for. Um, I will say that the right side is uh, similar though to the other ones in the case that it's being superior, because what I want to do, for example, if we go this route, um, so I believe this was the correct route, yeah. Because on the right side, we find uh, the upkeep reductions. We only find this 10% here, I think. And this route I like very much. It takes us 38 turns to get to here. For that, we will firstly get some re extra replenishment in enemy territory. That's a, a good start, gotta say. Um, and max movement to adopt uh, to a horde encampment. Also good to reduce that. Um, as we will be needing to do that from time to time, of course. Protect the camp, more melee defense faction-wide and more morale faction-wide. Boost that is also good, and the cost of horde buildings, reduce that. Then we get to hunting initiative, reduce that upkeep by 10%. And here, take one more step, we increase the movement range. So basically, this line has all the stuff I want, I do believe. For Diplomacy, we're going to do a bit of Diplomacy as well. We can, for now, have a look on the War Spoils. Fuel your war campaign by raising strategic settlements and looting val valuable resources from them. These can be resources or prizes such as items, extra experience or vision over a particular realm, all of which can be used to develop and strengthen your hoard. If you earn settlements, these will diminish the benefits gained from War Spoils. The amount of war spoils you can gain is defined by your war spoils rank and the level of the attacked settlement. So we start up with uh, current rank 5, so fairly high of course. Um, for end prizes we have 3 uncommon and plus 15% uh, chance of getting a unique um, item in this rank. If we would go down to war spoils rank 1, uh, we would get nothing, of course. And same here for food stores or resources. We get more resources here. Uh, and depending, depending on settlement level, we can see here. So for a settlement level 1, we get 1140. Uh, so we can find the closest. We can just click that. That's all um, actually down here. Let's see. In Sumur. In the province of Kadesh. How interesting. So they're thinking of the Battle of Kadesh. But that's... Uh, we can see if we go south. But I'm more tilted towards to go to Hati land. More early on. So we'll see. Uh, for ancillaries. Well, this is actually quite close. That's actually quite close. In the province of Halab. Could give us uh, some nice stuff, but we'll see. Uh, ancient legacy and all that stuff, obviously that locks, locks up um, later on as we progress. A flame in the flesh. Uh, we don't need to recruit anything. Yes, we. It is I. We'll probably go for Kiyinda next. Tarsus, though, it's a larger settlement. Touching me costs a hand. Isun, oh, I can't I think about you. it. But firstly, let's uh, do some diplomacy. As you can see now, we only have uh, the Kisu Watna as our enemy. We are going to fill this list. So just give me a moment and, and I will do exactly that. Alright, so we have added some factions to this list. And usually I do a bit more diplomacy and uh, try to squeeze out some party agreements. But honestly, I did a bit of it. Uh, I got like 150 stone. Uh, but there's not much you can do. Because as the Sea People factions, you're not very um, liked by uh, the other factions. So you, you basically can't do anything uh, regardless. So that's it. Let's end the turn. So a new turn. 
So we could... Looks like we could reach that. If we would like. But it's a... Uh, a bit tough of a fight for us. My turn. Um, just yet. But this, though. And our... Our enemy. Or we have... All these kinds of enemies. No one Not sure, my yeah. Line. Hello. Oh, interesting. Away, please. They arrived just now, so they're really looking to no time push it, right? Shake the lash. The they're only at war with us. In... Oh yeah, they're only at war with us. No these are from Ugarit. My allegiance is to my men. And Kisuwatna. If that's the correct name. Found me. Let's move up to Kiginda. We don't need to have anything recruited for this, but we are going to need to recruit uh, some blades and torches ready. Very soon. So let's uh, move in and do yet another fight. So these elements are a bit more tricky. But we do it in a similar fashion. Similar fashion. Yes, they are always. Even, even if they don't see us, they always put a unit um, where the closest gap is. But once we start reaching, they are going to move away. You're going to take a bit more damage than this one, I would reckon, because it's going to take us a longer time to penetrate the defense. You boys, give us a head start. Bring in the spearmen as well. Bring in the spearmen as well. We're going to blob them up. Using a combination of the swordsman and axemen over on this side. The axemen, uh, the swordsmen have a bit more melee attack, but the axemen do have a bit more damage. But overall, the swordsman is the way to go, I would say. Yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. I'm set up. I uh, wasn't aware that that was the way I did. Need to break that. Take care of the herders, actually. Do the herders for us. Uh, okay, we need to switch it out. Switch it over. They have the highest charge. So, axemen first, swordsmen later. Still try to keep an eye on them. Yeah, they're already wavering. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. 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 Yeah, broken. Then we switch target. Can send you in as well. Go. And go. Look like they tried to go away. Once we start getting in closer here, they are shaking, so we are, are going to get them. I actually think your angle is a bit too bad, so let's turn around. Don't skirmish mode. There we go. Probably going to need one unit around to swing, swing around to go and get it. So at least only one of the herders is doing damage. Uh, wavering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wavering, wavering, wavering. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go. Great position. Go. Fight for glory. Go forward and attack them. If we can, we shall start saving up. 
You can start moving at least. Better than everyone. You can swing around. Burning for battle. Rift, I take you. Go for them, go for them. If we could uh, lower their numbers and not get them to come back, that would be nice, but most likely they will. So Luvian Spearmen are actually going here. Time to move on. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. More quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Not very responsive. But they're broken. So Nuraja warriors, you can go here. Now they come back. Seems better to just issue that kind of order. Go, 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 go. I want you to go on this side. Yep, that's the correct way of doing it. I should also say, um, I will burn it city. says development in progress up here, so there is a, this is a um, content me? creator build, what that, um, how that different, difference uh, differentiates from the original build, I'm not sure, I'm not completely sure, to be honest, but I would imagine there might be a hard fix or two maybe for the uh, version that actually releases uh, in the next few days or in two days I think when recording this of course go perfect perfect can actually have you start marching here, yep. Let's try to bind both of them up with our hero. Issue one militia, they're coming back. Good stuff, great stuff. Let's get a rather, uh, rather long line. This way. Start marching. Yeah, just start marching. Doesn't really the sea of falls upon our heads. matter too much. Yeah. And focus on their hero. Shoot in again. Great stuff. Going over on this side. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, shattered. <laughs> shattered. You can chase. No one's standing my way. It means B, send one of them around the other way. Yes, Shirt and Lutus with a charge bonus of 32. That's our best chargers in the game. So, what I, as I said a few couple of minutes ago, basically our cab unit. Shouldn't underestimate the hero though. And our hero is taking a bit, uh, bit more damage, but we should be fine. Should be fine. I'll strangle you. Stop marching. Move back and 
Yeah, you can go and take them. He's dropping as well. There is no one else coming back, so that's nice. Hey, I look on this. They do look good. The cities do look good, but uh, no, I, as I said in my review, I did some time ago now. I do miss the presence of civilians and stuff like that, so it lacks that immersion, the same level of immersion as in Attila, which is my favorite game, as you all know. Or at least if you have been following my channel, I think that's pretty obvious. That's my favorite one. Okay, shattered and battle. Still a decisive. Nice experience. More food, more bronze, and a bit of gold. And we get even more when racing yet another. Easy to tear down. I feel it. Burning. So I still. We need to wait here one turn um, in order to get to a settled state. I hate talking. We would be attacked no within two turns. My so brother, let's see how it all goes. Beckons me to him. Firstly, another rank up. Continue working on uh, lowering the upkeep, but we are going to a increase the upkeep. The so once we get to, when, once we can get to the encamped stands. Uh, we'll have a look on the buildings and build some stuff as well. Witness me. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do that in order I am to here for one thing only. get to that as well. So I'm just I thinking. Here. Uh, I am we shall see. Right now. We shall see. Let's um, end the turn. Step away. So, let's see, where did they all go? Yoleos, brother to the sun. Yes, uh, we could. To take over this outpost. How much movement do we need? 50%, yeah? So yes, we can get the tribal outpost. It's uh, locked. Required royal decree. Okay. So you obviously need a royal decree to build it. No matter what Time we do, drums and we need to get to this stance. Probably should have moved a bit more up to the north. In order to avoid them a bit. Not sure if you're going to be able to regardless it is I. so maybe it won't be a th three episode thing it might just be um, a couple does anyone else like fire yeah i do firstly i think we're going to go i Let's think we can recruit three together. right we will do whatever we want i uh, can start with two swordsmen i think and no, let's just fill it up with you swordsmen because we with me. firstly we need to build the buildings in order to get um, our archers, which I want. And that provides from the hunter's gathering. We, I want that range, so we're going to do that. And then we can continue. We already have the special buildings spoil uh, spoils stores, which uh, gives us more loot and uh, a bit more melee attack. Further down the line, that will all be increased and ancillary chance as well. We could get the pillager swellings. Not going to do that. Don't want the. Uh, I don't really care for the rating income, to be honest. But what I want is the, the idol of Izul. Melee attack upon recruitment plus three to the army. That's very good. And we get the minus 10% morale for all units for enemy armies in the region. And some labor growth. Then. We could go for eventually of course we're going we need to go this line as well because um hang on 
we get the Nuraji Axe wielders. We do want them. And we also do need spears in order to fight the the, the chariots further down the line. But this one that we already have is definitely a route to take. Further on, we get the Sheridan Warband. And for the archers, we get the Sheridan Bowman. Not the best bowman in the game, but uh, I do believe. But I think they're still pretty good. All punis as well. Uh, yeah, they're also nice. You can. Burn first. Questions I would say later. that depends on your playstyle. I prefer archers over javelins, but javelins are very powerful though. Or does a lot of damage. We can build another building though. And that should go from here. And I would suggest going for the trapping sites, which lowers the upkeep by minus 5% and get XP per turn plus 20. We want to get that army strong really early on. Um, and reduce the upkeep as always. As always. Oh, hang on. You could go for the veterans camp. That's also get some uh, recruitment rank and more morale. Or the lookouts gathering. Um, more movement range and line of sight. That's also really useful and ammunition for the supply tents and recruitment cost minus 10 percent that's also good uh, especially now that we are, are recruiting and uh, the herb gatherers tent more labor so all these ones are useful but i'm tilting towards the trapping sites because that good combination of lowering the upkeep and getting xp and uh do we even have the workforce to go for yet another I thought we didn't, but obviously we do. So then probably herb gatherers tent for the extra replenishment and labor growth. I would suggest, even though I'm very tempted for the supply tents, as we are going to be looking to recruit a fair bit. But no, replenishment, that's also very, very important. I didn't miss anyone that I already planned on building, right? No, I did not. I did not. All right. But now we can't build anymore. Yes, because now we do lack a bit. And all these ones takes one turn. So let's um, um, cross our fingers or hold our thumbs, as we say in Sweden, for that we survive this round. My brother would be proud. Well, good stuff. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, we do have the armies nearby, so, uh, but so far, so good. And uh, this is uh, where we wrap up this episode, Happy boys. People. I hope you enjoyed Oof. it. Once again, leave that like if you did. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more action from Toll War Pharaoh and Eolaeus the Sea Raider. Thank you very much for watching. Until next one, have a good one.